All right, so we know Kimihio was abducted. What can I pin? Is there anything here I can pin? We'll probably have to go talk to Stenwook again because we just kind of, well, we didn't solve the case, but we, we have found a trailhead. You'd best have found something by now, gentlemen. Oh, we have. I fear that someone may have spied upon Kimmy here. Likely the owner of the spyglass I found earlier. It appears they were watching for some time, as there was an impressive amount of chewing tobacco on the ground. And your point? I found the residue of narcotics in Kimahir's brazier. There are several explanations, perhaps your servant's recreational interest, or an attempt at poisoning. Cut to the chase, Mr. Holmes. You said that you checked the shack earlier. Did you notice the cart tracks near it? Now, one ought to expect a servant to make regular use of such a thing. Indeed, I would have overlooked the detail were it not for the cart's absence. If, as you say, Kimahir never leaves your estate, then where did it go? I expect answers from you, Mr. Holmes, not questions. I won't keep you in suspense any longer, Captain. Kimahir was abducted by the owner of the spyglass. When your servant fell asleep, we did he it. slipped a narcotic into Kimahir's brazier to make him sleep even more soundly. In order to carry a man as large as Kimahir, the intruder stole the cart and rolled him right out of your garden. Now, hold on. All this simply to tell me what I already know. Why haven't you found him yet? I only arrived a moment ago. It is, frankly, incredible that I have already deduced so much. Every second you dawdle here, waiting for me to stroke your ego, is another second wasted. I'm not interested right. in the how, the why, or the who. I am only interested in recovering my investment. Spare me the claptrap, boy, and go and fetch my servant. All right, he is out of line, but he's not wrong because Sherlock does just want him to uh, <laughs> stroke his ego. <laughs> but also, if he knew all this already, why didn't you just tell me? Uh, the point is, Captain, we're telling you this for a reason. The intruder fled through the garden door and we need a key to follow his trail. Well, then you should have led with that. Here you go. I you should have led with... soon with good news. And in the meantime, please God. teach your companion the art of brevity. These darn Victorian Brits. <laughs> All right. All right, so this is an interesting way of doing a lot of these mechanics. I, I like this a lot more than chapter one. All right, excellent. Now, we just gotta go over here. And we found the first doll. Hmm, what does it say? Hmm, what does it say? Aha. Uh -huh. hmm. I want to let me take the note. Hmm, what <laughs> what the heck? What does it say? What do, what does it say indeed, Sherlock? There we go. Seams or torn fabric on this doll, likely one legged by design. There we go. Hey ho, street pigeons, and roof ravens. Another treasure hunt is upon you. With a clue in hand, it's up to you to find all the dolls. I used to do lots of those in my childhood for myself and. Is it a call for help? A bad joke? Or both? Better not risk leaving this matter ignored, don't you think? All right, let's go get the, the next one because I know exactly where this is. It's in the Arthur Conan Doyle statue uh, park. The game is once again afoot. I need to get Ka to, to model me a Sherlock Holmes hat <laughs> that I can wear. <laughs> Put a little pipe in my hand so I can, I can pretend to be Sherlock. It's right over here. One thing I'll say is that the music uh, in this game is far less aggressive than it was in the original. 
Or the original chapter one, I mean. What's this? What's this? A miner with a sooty face. At least, in Dolphin. Hey ho, street pigeons and sewer rats. Another treasure hunt is upon you. With a clue in hand, it's up to you to find all the dolls. Oh, shoot. I didn't even look at that one. All right, Stenwick's play. It's just on the street outside of Stenwick's mansion, I guess, in the farmer's market. We might not be able to get this one yet. Get the strand. Get your copy of the strand here. There's a Japanese flag there. Interesting. I don't think that was actually the Japanese flag at this point in time. Embassy of Japan, uh, Consulate General of Japan. I guess maybe it was. What, what time does this game take place? 1910? 1890? Something like that? I guess that makes sense. Aha. Uh -huh. Unnaturally bent legs, yet they look to be a design choice. Seems to be for me. Hey ho, street pigeons and rainworms. Another treasure hunt is upon you with a clue in hand. It's up to you to find all the dolls. I have found all of the dolls. The dolls have been found. Now we just need to return them to uh, their different uh, containers. Hopefully by plugging in the dolls, we will be able to get the keys to the dresser. I'm so excited, this is so fun. <laughs> I'm having so much more fun with this game than I was with Fatal Frame 4, that's for sure. <laughs> we'll have to play some actually good survival horror games uh, on the channel sometime. <laughs> I think this game is going to be a game that I can definitely binge to. Um, you know, as long as I, have, I get some food in me today, we might be doing a pretty long stream of this. <laughs> All right, um... All right, I was right. Tom's key. Tom. I wish I could just like go between them without having to get out of the way. One-legged girl who lost her leg in a factory, maybe? Uh. It's kind of grim. Alrighty. I'm gonna open this and a, a bunch of silly snakes are gonna pop out. Anne Coldrain, age 12, cause of death, blood loss due to leg injury. Uh, Tom Gill, cause of death, smog poisoning. Charles Potter, cause of death, severe burns, debilitating injuries. Okay. Charles, Anne, Mary. Tom, Charles, Anne, and Mary. And this must be Mary. Last doll seems recently made. Now, where does this get us? You finally made it. You found the last piece of the puzzle. It's not the only. It's not only the last piece of the, uh, in this hunt. It's my last piece ever, my street pigeons. I know a lot of you. My riddles were the only glint of light in your day, but shining that soul beam meant being surrounded by complete darkness. With Charlie's death, the third of our foursome, my lips have lost the ability to smile. Life has forced us to work where we don't belong, squeezing what little light we had out of us. Each day ended with me praying that the next. When I'd have to climb down the chimney again, breathe those awful fumes, listen to all the screams, would never come. And I don't even know how to pray. My friends thought I was the strongest, but with every loss, I felt smaller and weaker. And now I feel nothing at all. So goodbye. I hope that one day you can fly away to warmer places, happier times, and never again be forced to give up your lives for scraps. I'm sure I like the treasure hunt's ending. Could we really have saved her homes? No. Solving this crime is beyond my reach. 
it is society who must work on sparing children from death by hard labor. Agree. Ooh, we got a new outfit. We got a Watson outfit. Oh, okay, we can change his outfit. Do we have ice cream, Jong? Because I would love ice cream parlor, John, again. We give him a waistcoat so that he's not uh, he's not walking in the rain, all wet. <laughs> Raf is right. That was that was pretty sad. That was a tragic ending. But hey, we did it. We solved the mystery. Uh, I like that uh, as like a little storyline. I feel like this game did it a lot better than uh, a lot of the side stories in Cordona in chapter one already. That was an impressive little tale. I like that. Uh, I'm gonna go so far as to say this game rules so far. This is a good fun little adventure game and it actually works, which is awesome. <laughs> I feel bad for not playing uh, chapter one on PC. Kettle says, the realistic darkness, it would honestly suck to grow up in this time. Yeah, I agree. I also think it's cool that this game is like, it's, you know, the Cthulhu mythos Sherlock game, but it's also doing this thing where uh, it's like looking at societal darkness as well so far. Uh, and it's, it's like grim, but also tying that into like the horror atmosphere. That, that works really well for me. I like that a lot. <laughs> Huh. There are probably clues around here that I'm missing. I should probably go into concentration mode just to see, but oh, we'll probably be fine. Huh. All right, so there really is only one location we can go to. It's gotta be here, right? I guess we should be looking for the cart is what we should be looking for. some tracks right all right let's follow them out aha we have found the cart okay Roy Soulsby Roy Soulsby that be the name of our man a strange substance I have my suspicions based on the color and consistency, but would you care to hazard a guess, Doctor? Well, it's odorless, but from the way it absorbs water, I'd say saltpeter. Oh, then it's interesting. The saltpeter uh, Sturdy road, guy. Professionally tied in a Portuguese bowline. This knot is often mm -hmm. used by sailors to create a bosun's chair. All right, we knew that. We knew so. It's got to be someone, I guess, angry about the attack on the ship, right? Wheels picked up grass along the way. Him and here's cart, I gather. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can find Roy Soulsby. Talk to him about this, maybe. Stupid, Mr. Holmes. Okay, guess not. Go and do your job. All right, uh, Roy Soulsby, London. Who can we? All right, let's look at all these. See if we don't have anything we can pin. I guess he was a navy. We knew he was a sailor from the Spyglass. I see. Okay. What notable features of the abductor? Sailor's not. Calling card. Spyglass. No. Nope. Alright, so we got two of them right. Sailor's not, wallet with salt beater. Get the name. Nope. Hmm. 
There we go. Kimihia was kidnapped by a sailor. A particular knot, a spyglass, and the footprints of a working man's boots. They all add up to one conclusion, Kimihia's abductor was a sailor. And where does Kimihia's trail lead? While it was saltpeter, sailor's knot, or maybe just a calling card. Observation, abductor is a sailor. All right, so I got two of those wrong. Sailor's not. Chewing tobacco remains. Oh, the strand, duh. Forgot about this. Port of London. We now know that Kimihia's kidnapper is most likely a sailor, that his wallet bears saltpeter residue, and that there was a recent saltpeter accident in the Port of London. Everything suggests that to find Kimihia, we must head to the Port of London. There's no time to lose. It is vital that we find a cab to the Port of London immediately. This is rad. <laughs> I like this a lot. This is way better than Chapter 1's way of doing the Mind Palace. This slaps. Oh man, I'm so into that. The strand proved not so useless after all. The saltpeter accident, Doctor, do you recall? The Port of London, of course. The footwear, the spyglass. Indeed, we shall need to take a cab then. Oh, awesome. Okay, so this game actually will tell me if I can't come back somewhere as well. This is awesome. This game is a huge improvement on the last one. I'm loving this. <laughs> Ka says the slimy noise is the sound of Sherlock's brain unsmoothing. Yeah, exactly. He's getting a wrinkle, a new wrinkle every time. Where to go? The Port of London, please. I will show you where to stop. Oh, this game's already more stylish too than uh, than Chapter One. Mr. Holmes, what a compelling mystery we have stumbled upon. Perhaps I have the premise of my next novel. Huh? One kidnapping does not a story make. Stop! A black cat crossed before us. It's a bad omen. I did not take you for the superstitious type, Doctor. Such things are mere fantasies, tricks of a feeble mind. One imagines a physician would keep a surer footing in reality. Perhaps, before the war, my time abroad was difficult. Once, I came across an Afghan, bleeding, who I could not save. He pressed a rosary into my hand. A gift, he said, so as to gain God's favor. After that... Dr. Watson? Yes, well, I shan't get into details, but sometime later I found myself lost in the desert. Dehydration set in, and things grew ever more dire. The man's words came to me. I said a prayer and placed the rosary on a rock. A gift to gain God's favor. And you were rescued? Yes. A detachment of British soldiers found me. To whom I'm grateful. Without their diligence, you would not be standing here and I would not have this case. I'm sure you have another explanation prepared, Mr. Holmes, but I think I shall cling to the occasional superstition all the same. To each his own, Dr. Watson. So long as it does not interfere with my methods, do it. We must press on, cat or no cat. The question remains, why abduct Kimahir? Why abduct Kimahir, indeed. Oh, it changed my outfit. Now my jacket's all messed up. Why did I change my outfit? I was wearing I was wearing a cool wool coat that was better for this uh, environment. All right, who abducted Kimihia? That's clearly the Mind Palace one for that. And where is Kimihia? Yeah, we don't have anything that we can link there. Sherlock can ask bystanders about a piece of evidence. Press. To open the casebook, pin the evidence with X, speak to someone about it. May I ask you something? Oh, your 
Forbes nut. I will help you. The man usually wanders close to the dockyard. Okay. Is this familiar to you? Sorry, sir, I can't help you. Why is he just looking in that window? Is he, are you gonna steal? You gonna steal something? Ah, Whoa, interesting. Awesome. Reputable establishment. I've seen worse. Okay. Find some stuff in here, maybe. Tickets to Oakmont, Massachusetts are still available. Charon will depart next Tuesday. Charon is the uh, boatman of the underworld. The, the dead ferryman. Help, Gervish missing for a week. Please tell him if you see him, ask D Daya in Port Shantytown, Red Rag over house entrance. Okay. Greetings, miss. I'm hoping you can help us. We shall soon see. I heard tell of a recent explosion in the port. What do you know of it? Ah, yes. Something exploded in a ship's cargo hold. Caused a terrible blaze. The sky was red with smoke till morning. Where precisely did it occur? The ship sank near the third pier, next to the dockyard. Have you been drinking? Are you familiar with a Roy Salisbury? Roy Salisbury? Hmm, I know the name, but he's not one of my regulars. My guess is that he works somewhere around here. What do you know about this poster? A foreign woman asked to put it up. She's plastered them all over the port. Any clues as to her whereabouts? None. It was hard to understand what she was saying. Hmm. My colleague and I are seeking a burly man, above average height, with workman's boots. Half my customers, then. Your description hardly narrows things down. Alright, I guess we have to observe her. Chapped lips, okay. Belly a bit distended. She has a hernia or something? Vomit stains morning. Oh, she's pregnant. Uh, let's see. Barmaid, barmaid is in the early stages of pregnancy, hence the slightly distended belly and hints of morning nausea. Chapped lips and pale face indicate a lack of proper nutrition. Unaware of her pregnancy. I think probably the chapped lips is that she's unaware of her pregnancy. Miss, what if I told you that you are in the family way? No, really? Oh, thank you, sir. How would I, a simple woman, have ever known without your help? You must be a doctor. In a manner of speaking. He's not. He merely has the ego of one. I apologize, miss. Mr. Holmes is fond of his observations, but I am the doctor here, not him. Do you need any help? I'm fine, thank you. Would rather not discuss my condition, nor let word of it spread. Okay, so she was hiding it. What can I get you? That's a bummer. There's a kitty. Meow. 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 Hiccup. After the incident the other day, it seems customers are staying at home. All right, well, my bad. I, I was confused why I would point out the chapped lips if she was trying to hide it. Can't win them all. All right, uh, I don't think it'll actually make a difference to, to most things, though. It's author Daya lives in the port's shanty town. A red rag hangs over her house's entrance. Let's make a stop there first. this guess I can't actually read that let's see help Gervish is missing oh okay so it's it's the same thing that we just found it sounds as though those people will need my help help me please I can't tell you because I don't know hello this is dr. Watson Go take a look at your friend. oh he was like bitten by something Dug 
dug up treasures, it seems. Everything ends up in a river. It's Water a good has thing a these curious whitish tinge to it. Saltpeter. He got saltpeter in his wounds, probably, right? The subject is hyperventilating. He has a pale face and dilated pupils. Dilated pupils, decolorized skin, necrosis. What do you make of this, Doctor? All signs point towards acute poison. It could possibly be due to chemicals. I won't jump to any conclusions. Could you help me? <laughs> Alright, yeah, it's probably saltpeter sickness, right? Because the. That's, look at this, yeah. <laughs> Sherlock still can't swim. Raph says, this kind of reminds me of The Sinking City. I mean, hey, it, it's the same developer, isn't it? Alright, so it's got to be related to salt, Peter, because that's what's in the water right there. So they have acute poisoning from being in salt, from, uh, I guess, trawling in the salt, Peter. What are you looking at? You like to watch how a man suffocates himself for food? How do I get up there? Okay. Red rag. There we go. That must be her house. All right, we'll learn more about that in a minute. Oh, is this Daya? Hello, lad. Is this where I may find Daya? You read the poster? Yes? You know where my brother Girves is? Sadly, no. Well, not yet. Where did you last see Girves? He worked at a, um, warehouse. This man, Roy Solby, gave oh. him the job. He paid him a ne a necklace. I want to speak to Dea. Is she around? Emma, my mother. She got sick after the hot, the fire. Big red smoke. She couldn't breathe, so I took her to the doctor. Now I am in charge. Do you still have the necklace that Salisbury gave to Gervais? Girves left it near the um, shrine. I tried to sell it to buy Ama um, medicine, but but no one wanted to buy. How would you describe this Soulsby? He was big and strong. Um, Intriguing. He had a big scary eye. Scary, you say? Yes, like uh, like it was made of metal. Don't go anywhere. A big, scary metal eye. What does that mean? This cheap pendant looks like silver, but it's only made of tin. No surprise the boy couldn't sell it. Uh, I think the that's a little girl right there, and I think that that's Daya. I miss Gervis. Do you think he's okay? Hello says, "Oh, hey, it's Hopscotch." Yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. It appears that the saltpeter explosion rattled the locals. Can't blame them for staying at home. Oh, okay, and the the fire made them sick. So, yeah, it must be saltpeter poisoning. Is saltpeter toxic? I I guess toxic, poisonous? I'm not sure. Uh, poisonous is if you ingest something. Toxic is if you, if it's just like inherently, right? Like, poisoned is something you put into something? I don't remember. Okay, there's blood here, but there doesn't seem to be anything we can actually interact with. The coffee won't go away, and the doctor's too pricey. I was under the impression that the, the saltpeter explosion happened, like, this morning, so I can't believe it's already, like, this escalated. Alright, uh, Roy Soulsby, London, found near the dockyard, ammonite pendant. Looks like silver, but it's actually made of tin. Oh, this is just the back side of the, uh, thing. Nepali boy's testimony. Have you ever heard of a man with a metallic eye? I've seen him, even. Dirty Summers is the name. 
a nasty lout with a silver ball in place of a missing ah. Intriguing. I shudder to ask, but where does one find a dirty Summers? He likely signed on with a ship. I am not one to spy on others, let alone him. Hmm, I see. My advice, keep away from him. Hmm. Man, I'm so mad that I, I selected that she was unaware of her pregnancy because I genuinely did have the thought. I was like, unaware of your pregnancy? There's no way. Women are way smarter than that. And I selected it anyway. I'm, I'm dumb. I didn't know what this game was going for, but I guess uh, it's not nearly as uh, <laughs> antiquated as I was led to believe. Little fishies. Uh, all right. What's back here? Anything fun for us? Oh, I can fall into the water. Okay. Sick mudlark, call for help, souls bees guard. I guess we'll have to go talk to souls bee at this point. I'm not sure what we can do with the mudlarks at this moment. We probably need a few more clues before we can really do anything with them because it doesn't seem like there's any dialogue that they have for us. Yeah, let's go this way. May I ask you something? I can't help you with this. Sorry, lady. Uh. Hex, oh, Raph says, by the way, the social commentary is in the game, is all from, like, this new remake. It might have been in the original, but it might have been too subtle. That, that makes sense. I mean, this game was made during, <laughs> during the Ukrainian conflict, right? And, like, that is clearly influencing the developers and stuff to talk more about conditions in the world and things like that. Sorry, lady. I'm just exploring right now. I, I'm not 100% sure where we want to go. Shanty town is down here. Okay, so we crossed through. So we are now in the back. Mal Dalton swears she saw ghosts in warehouse two. The coppers even went over there. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright. <gasps> Cordona suit. Look at that. It's cool that they're just reusing these assets. It saves them dev time. Get a fez, uh, the poster for him. It's around here. And that's just to the shanty town. Oh, okay, I see where we are. Can we go up and in? We cannot. It's all very interesting. I'm, I'm enjoying this quite a bit. ENG, good old ENG, reliable boat. All right, so we probably have a, a few places to check. We need to figure out where this warehouse two place is because I want to investigate the ghosties. But I don't know where the warehouses actually are. These look more like dock houses, so I don't think these are those. Wow, shipwrecks right in the port. That sucks. Kettle says, I'm quite fond of the extra little shoulder cover the jacket has. It sells the aesthetic for me. Yeah. Not in the mood, mate. Shoo. Aha. Pardon me, sir. I am looking for Roy. <sighs> Not again. Yes, I'm Roy. But I can't help you find your uncle or whoever you've lost. Now, what makes you think I would inquire about missing people? You are the fourth person to ask this week. Just because I work at the port doesn't mean I keep track of everyone who comes here. May I ask what you're doing here? This is where the ship sank the other day. I'm trying to uh -huh. work out how we'll remove it. You say we are not the first to ask you about a disappearance. Do you recall anything about those who came inquiring? Hmm. I only remember the foreign woman. I didn't catch her name, but those are her posters hanging up everywhere. She has badgered me twice now. 
and I still don't know nothing. And this woman can be found? No clue. She was talking gibberish. Now, where was I? All right, let's observe him really quick. Many stamp ink stains. HM, he's a sailor. Average height. Ooh, mint solid gold. He's wealthy. Maybe not wealthy, but perhaps bribed. No muscle tone, not brawny. Ah. He's not an officer. He's of English blood, 5'5", five five, and has an average build. His lack of muscle tone implies that he's hardly strong. Mr. Soulsby does not seem to look like Kimmy Hia's abductor. His left palm bears several stamp ink stains. Some letters remain visible, HM Cuss. Apparently, Mr. Soulsby is the customs officer. Uh, he holds a brand new Waltham Hillside uh, watch in his pocket. Only a corrupt custom officer can afford such a thing. All right, do we think he is a, tone, uh, a thief or a corrupt officer I don't know if he's a thief he is a customs officer we know that so uh, let's see I, I I'm not sure I'm not sure it's really hard to tell what the answer is with this you just kind of have to shoot in the dark <laughs> I definitely think he's the corrupt officer, though. All right. He holds a brand new Waltham Hillside watch in his pocket. Only a corrupt customs officer can afford such a thing. All right. Sorry, doesn't ring a bell. Sorry, doesn't ring a bell. I have been told that you hired Dea's son, Girves, right before he vanished. His brother also said you had a metal eye. What do you make of this? Tell that him to stop making things up. <laughs> what? Can't help you there, mate. Can't help you there, mate. Have you seen this before? My card? Where did you dig that up? At a crime scene near Baker Street involving a young servant's kidnapping, I might add. I... I... No. Someone used it without my consent. How else would it end up there? All right, uh, Kettle says, if he was a thief, he would probably also be a corrupt officer. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> it's really ambiguous. Okay, Pier 3. Let's try to find that warehouse. I want to go investigate some ghosts. Yeah, it looks like... The haunted warehouse is the only one that we can actually pin right now. So where's warehouse two? Let's look at the map. Oh, there are two shanty towns. Oh no, that's Pier Three. Gotcha. Okay. Uh. Hmm. I'm just not sure where the warehouses are. Let's try to find them, huh? That looks like a warehouse. Is this warehouse too? This might be a boathouse, not a warehouse, right? You'd think they'd have big numbers on the side. The Star of Gibraltar is seeking a carpenter and an able seaman. Write to Captain uh, Achab Leadenhall. Isn't the Star of, is the Star of G Gibraltar the, um, <laughs> the ship from Dracula? <laughs> I could be wrong about that, but that name sounds really familiar. I think that's like a literary reference. I, I don't... Okay, Warehouse 2 is this way. Or Dock 2 is this way. Someone look that up. Let me know if the if the Star of Gibraltar is, is the ship from Dracula. I could be wrong. Alright, let's try to find that warehouse. I have no idea where it is. It's moments like these where if the game, like the game being in, uh, 
first person might help a little bit. Kettle says the ship from Dracula is oh is the Demeter. You are correct. It is the Demeter. What is the Star of Gibraltar? Why do I know that name? Can't go in there. Sorry, sir. Can't help you. Hmm. So I'm going to assume this is warehouse one and warehouse two must be somewhere else. This says three. This is a different area. I think this leads to the docks, right? Yeah, it leads to the docks. Man, that guy is really bent out of shape that we uh, ran right into him. Okay, warehouses, here we are. We are in the warehouse area. That's three, this must be two over here. Here we go. Good evening, constable. I heard some people talking of ghosts in this warehouse. <sighs> oh. uh, gossip, Sullivan. An old lady neighbor saw some lights and ghostly shapes in the middle of the night. She heard music too. Turns out this was the warehouse of Grandma Kujak. He owned uh -huh. a business with theater props for scary shows. I went in and, well, it is a bit creepy, but I think it was probably just some kids fooling around. Do you mind if I take a look inside? Not at all. It's like Madame Tussauds, only worse. I'll be on the beat round the pub for the rest of the night. Damned explosion. <laughs> Good night, sir. Excellent, all right. Alright, spooky ectoplasm. <laughs> How can I have an effect to try and track someone down? It still works. Alright, so someone has like a scam going here to trick people into thinking that it's haunted. Aha. Uh -huh. There was a box in the coffin. It was removed quite recently. They opened the casket and left marks. Interesting. A herbal odor with an ethylic base. Liquor? They're using it. They're telling people it's ghosts because they're using it to smuggle alcohol. Cool haunted house, though. <laughs> Phosphorus used recently. Where is this going? <laughs> it's missing the missing crate. Yep. Several crates are missing. What else is around here? Inspired by the legend of Sleepy Hollow. <laughs> Ooh. I didn't mean to go outside. Didn't realize that would allow me to actually go out the door. No brand or markings. It looks like a bulk product. Oh. Bottles of various shapes and sizes. I detect a mix of chemicals and aromas. <laughs> if you stay out much longer, I'm going to need some supper. Do you feel like a meat pie? Okay, so there's stuff back here. It looks like some kind of gramophone. Who is this intended to scare? <laughs> okay, I'm beginning to see. I'm beginning to see what's going if on stay here. Out much longer, I'm going to need some supper. Do you feel like a meat pie? What else is there? We have a few things we're gonna need in here. At least one or two more clues, it seems. Nope, 
Okay, so that one is fairly obvious. Yeah, no. No, we have to find one. We have to find like two more clues, I think, right? Somebody <laughs> have fun. All right, and now what is the final thing we're looking for? Oh no, a dead squid! How mysterious! I guess that's an octopus. That's not a squid. I uh, I'm smart. I know what fish are. What is the one that we are missing a clue from? Right here? Nope. A small cart left those tracks. A small cart, I see. <laughs> Okay, we did it. Somebody played with phosphorus to give the illusion of ghosts or ectoplasm. In reality, they were here to mix a few ingredients and prepare a solution of some sort. Then they took a box hidden inside the casket. And they left through that gate with a small cart. All right. Well, that's interesting. So we found perhaps a smuggling ring. How intriguing. God, Sherlock's eyes look terrifying there. 